Might have something to do with that uh, car chase. Reefer Madness. That's a movie. Reefer Madness. You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure. Sure, I know. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyons on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. It's 50 bucks, dude. Oh, I guess that's a lot of money back then. <laughs> I think the tablet just sold a really big drug or 50 bucks? Did I think I made a money? No, you just look like you made a money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Did I just go to the basement? Um, Cole Phelps. Yeah. The roads. <laughs> so, Good evening, Ray. The radio? Just walking around. Right. Commendation. Well, well, well. You got any morphine down here? I got the jitters again. Time to shoot up. No second. There it is. Oh, no. Don't those vice boys get any on the side? Huh? Who's talking about coach? You know the way. We can drive. Come on. Oh, gee. Kahoochie. him in the back, Cole. Food wasn't great. It is. You're real nice. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. We'll see. Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. You're bringing 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? It's stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a speck that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Be careful. <laughs> he likes guns. Or do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. Yeah, last Something forever creepy. on a snitch jacket. You creep. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Money. Are you talking about the amount of dope or just very in general of being crazy? Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? The place we were just told to go. Believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. One son of a bitch. What a businessman. <laughs>
Jesus Christ, that guy's a two shot kill. Yeah, see, that guy just shot me twice and I'm fine. Face, surprise of home shoes still alive. Corners just differently. There was two people, saw. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. <laughs> hey, that other guy's still alive. You were alive, dude. I saw okay, you. Don't have on that. What happened? Bill Pegler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, you know, the rest no, is no, 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 no. Before that cutscene started, he dropped his gun and put his hands up. I saw it. You can't lie to me and say I put a fucking hundred bullets into him. Probably grabbed the needle and injected it himself and then died. <laughs> yep. A gun. Pretty nice, uh, Thompson. What was the cause of death? I don't know, dude. You, know, you caused it. The cause of death was more. Drop the fucking head already. Okay. Ooh. What's in here? Money? I know. Well, they got these things out of circulation. 1896. I'm gonna keep that. It's a dollar. It's a silver dollar. A wallet. That's like. You don't have to tap. 50 years on. old. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address. This place looks like a front. Interesting. Well, this doesn't have to worry about payments anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't make his neck crack like his ring of mortis. He's been dead for like a whole two minutes. <laughs> Interesting. He's dead. Who saw that one coming? Does like this guy. Shady little bed. Hmm. Maybe these are the guys keeping one so well stocked. Only 12 cents? Psychic connection with this one. A gun that wasn't used in the firefight. Can I keep this one? No good to me. No good to the case, but useful to me. Can I keep it? <laughs> what? A 
eating some junk. What is it, though? Interesting. I thought it was a toaster. Mm, toast. Mm, so Does anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Soup. Maybe it's not actually soup. It's poop. Is what that it? Why would you just immediately make some hair? I'm that soup. Wing wing. Operator, give me dispatch. Okay. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? Wow, I thought that one was good. I need an address on a Parnell soup company. Why are you I at the soup or store? Just a second, Detective. Detective, this is Cole Phelps. Only one address listed. Hmm. 6310 Fountain Avenue. Interesting. Thanks. Why would a soup place only have one address? There should be several different buildings. Probably just a factory in the area. Head off of maybe Disney. Detectives, do you want to come meet Mr. Pickman, the neighbor? Sounds like he's got something for him. Alright. Neighbor. Detective Phelps and Durham. We were told you. Always knew they were up to no good. Son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That's very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, Please call us before something like this happens. Chicken coop. Get the fuck out of my way, girl. Where's the chickens? Where's the cocks? Show me your cocks. <laughs> There's the cock cocks. Chicken coop. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Interesting. There's no cock. Soup. Oh, that's... Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> you say that like you jumped, you fucking <laughs> pussy. So I bet you this is... Hey! No, no, it's, it's the Bat Cave! Now we're getting somewhere. It's the Soup Cave! Oh, that's with all the soup! More soup? Who in the hell keeps the secret bag of soup? I do. I'm not soup. Fucking soup in them. You hungry or something, Phelps? Yeah. Fucking starving for some reefer. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Phelps so just standing there waving your phone's face. Someone's got a lot of explaining to do. I can, I can control it while that little dialogue was happening. I can control them. <laughs> Yep. Someone has to. Damn, the soup went dry. Interesting. <laughs> the same stuff. The soup's dry. Turn the reefer. <laughs> it turned green, though. Damn. Wow, there's a light over it. I wonder if it's important. Why is there a ledger here? With so one dead, we need a new suspect, here. Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Wow, big pounds. seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. You should notify the border crossing. Well, he, the one guy did Those say fuckers are probably in Tijuana, 50 pounds, and there's a lot of Tijuana, 50 pounds. Interesting. There ain't even... There's no, he doesn't even have chickens. Come back around 845. What? The dude. How 845? You're behind the wheel. Are they suspicious? Where are we going? Okay. Work, though. <laughs> Brother 
just says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on a slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Carl 11 King to KGPL. Carl 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Indeed. Factually correct. They got here extremely fast. Take my chances. Fucking speedy Gonzalez. Where you go? Wait, don't I have my gun? How do I pull my gun? Yeah, he fucking is. Damn. Oh, he tackles, the idiot. Fucking low, dude. You barely got anywhere. You got like 50 feet from More the like door. More like slowly. What are you carrying? Hand it over. Wow. I'd say he's got about <laughs> half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. I'm keeping it. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your head. I want information. You're, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Show me your ween. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Are you an illegal? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Where's your green card? This looks pretty green to me, buddy. <laughs> That's it? You just gonna... He's gonna put that back in. That's it? Just gonna slide Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I will give you to immigration. Nice run. Nice sketch. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Okay, can you explain this silver dollar of Juan Gonzalez or whatever his last name was? You this with the others. I told you I, I know. Got. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The fact that you have a Juan? coin that has one half of a word on it, even though I found another one that has another half on it. Wands. Oh yeah, Wands. Wands. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of Sanjay. us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. Birds. If I gave you his Bird name, up. I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. And that's the one is tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cool. Harnell's Tell me about the soup cans. Much. The soup is very popular, as you can see. I doubt the soup's popular. Right. Real funny, wise guy. <laughs> you want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. I am so very popular. The soup is very popular. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not... Seize your assets and deport you. That's the best I can do. I'll make, I'll make sure he won't deport you. Anything else is fair game. 
Actually, scratch that. I'll make sure he deports you. Just because it'll be funny. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Well, I thought you said I was going to be boring. I lied. I lied. I thought it would be funny. You're going to rot in jail anyway. We're going to be fine. I thought it would be funny. It's a lot of it was. I think this Thanks is for an the laugh. Operation. Moving dope around the country to select the grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way. Through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. <laughs>